The Pro Football Hall of Fame is removing a photo of former tight end Aaron Hernandez of the Patriots after receiving numerous complaints. Hernandez faces several charges, including the murder of Odin Lloyd. I'm Kerry Chow, joined by ESPNBoston.com's Mike Reese. Mike, why is the Hall of Fame doing this? Well, Kerry, this is sort of similar to the Patriots. Uh, after they had released Hernandez, one of the first things they did was they went into their pro shop and they basically removed every single item of Aaron Hernandez's uh, memorabilia, all the jerseys, any T-shirts. And I think the idea was we want to disconnect ourselves from this player. Same thing with the Pro Football Hall of Fame. They received some complaints about a, an award-winning photo. They have an annual photo contest, and uh, this photo... Uh, was the award winner from 2010. It was Hernandez's rookie year, and uh, some patrons of the uh, Hall of Fame said, you know what, uh, this probably isn't in good taste, and the Hall of Fame agreed. They said, you know, well, look, let's just take it right down. What's the latest in the actual murder case of Odin Lloyd? What's, what's happening now? Well, right now it's, it's sort of at a, at a here, you know, standstill, if you will. I mean, there's nothing uh, new at this point, and I think, uh, Hernandez obviously has been denied bail. He remains in jail, and the investigation uh, continues. And at this point, uh, the uh, prosecution feels like it has a very strong case, but there is one uh, issue remaining. They do not have the murder weapon, and that's something that I'm sure they will continue to look for. But without that, uh, it, it doesn't make the case as strong as it could be. You mentioned the Patriots are trying to separate themselves from Hernandez, the Pro Football Hall of Fame trying to separate themselves actually as well. If Hernandez is found not guilty, do you think that te uh, teams will still be interested in his services? Well, that, that I, don't, I don't think that we're going to get to that point very soon because let's say he's found not guilty in the court of law. He still has to go through the court of Roger Goodell, and I would imagine that there, is a, there would be a big suspension coming, uh, the idea being that uh, it's not going to be up to a team to decide if Aaron Hernandez plays football. It'll be, first and foremost, up to Roger Goodell. And based on uh, everything that's happened, we've seen this in the past where uh, a player hasn't even been arrested, and yet he's had a significant suspension uh, handed down by Goodell. So would a team take a chance? I wouldn't rule it out because it's, you know, if he's not guilty and a couple years pass, hey, look at what happened down in uh, Atlanta with uh, Brian Banks, you know, and the chance that he's getting as he was, um, you know, exonerated. You never know, but if I had to guess, Kerry, I'd say that Aaron Hernandez won't play in the NFL ever again. And you mentioned that court of Roger Goodell. What we do know certainly is that it is very strict. That's ESPNBoston.com's Mike Reese. Great stuff, as always. For the latest on the Patriots, be sure to check out Mike's blog on ESPNBoston.com. I'm Kerry Chow with your latest ESPN headline.